What if you could get your business to show up in GPT search and Google AI overviews for the search term that you wanted? That is exactly what I managed to do in this three step process that I'm going to show you how to do. It doesn't only work for me, but it works for our community members inside AI Ranking, a community dedicated to teaching, helping, and supporting entrepreneurs and agency owners ranking number one in Google AI overviews and GPT search like I've just done here. So for example, if you search the term how to connect Claude to live SEO data in GPT search. It is our content that is being featured here and here, AI Ranking School, that's our website here. So we're being cited by GPT search, which is the aim of the game of GPT search. And if I do the same search in Google, and you can see that the search intent, Google thinks is actually best as a video and two of the four videos are our videos here, this one and this one here. Not only that, but if I scroll all the way down to the first actual old school blue link, you'll see that it's actually our website number one in the blue links for that key term. And I did all, all of this with this simple strategy. Some of you might have heard this before. It's called the content pillar and satellite strategy, but we're taking it a step further for this strategy. And it's a three step process. Number one is creating very personalized content with your experience. And it's very easy to do. That is represented by the blue circle here. That is your pillar content or your main content. And then what we're doing is creating supporting content, clusters of content or satellite content that is interlinking within each other, but also more importantly, interlinking with that main pillar content. And the red triangles indicate that you also need YouTube videos for this. And I'll explain why in a second. So, how do we do all this stuff with AI and do it very well? So the first one is the pillar content. The strategy that I like to use for this is actually using GPT projects for this. You can use Claude projects. Let me show you an example of a project that I've set up for this that works for me every single time very, very well. So within a project, you want to give it the capability to help you write content that is in depth. It's very detailed, but more importantly, it actually has your experience. It demonstrates your experience or your knowledge throughout the content. That is what the AI overviews eat up, a fresh new perspective that is also ideally correct, right? You can't just show up a new perspective, but it's wrong. When you're setting up a GPT project, in the project files, you wanna place in a couple of docs here that it can reference. Your website sitemap, an experiences doc, and a tone of voice document. The tone of voice document and the website sitemap are kind of self-explanatory. I've done a lot of other videos how to create those. But the experiences doc is very important. This, you need to take some time to place in there. This can be reviews that people have given you, your thoughts about a specific subject in your niche that you think, but you wanna take a good couple of hours to create this document. An easy way to do this is that I do all the time is you can use Otter AI. This is a very good and free uh, text to transcription, sorry, transcription to text tool. And you want to talk about your thoughts, your experience, what you've learned throughout the years about your certain topic. And this text file that it creates, you want to chuck into the custom GPT, sorry, the GPT project. And then what we want to do is give it a set of instructions to ensure that it knows the content that it has available to it. And this just helps it guide the conversation that you're having. For example, it's helped me create this blog post really easily. And I like the fact that we've instructed it to open the canvas feature when we're writing. For example, let me actually try it out so you guys can see what I'm talking about instead of just demonstrating theory, right? So I'm going to start a, um, a brand new chat here and say, um, I want to write a blog post about is LLM.txt files really good to increase your SEO in your for the AI search engines? So a very broad topic. I'm just going to give it that. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see it's going to start asking me some preliminary questions. It's not going to go right away, jump in. It's saying, well, which one of the, the experiences can I place in here? What links can I back link into? And it's creating me, giving me these questions as well. Uh, I want to do a thought leadership piece. The primary keywords are ranking in AI overviews and LLM text files. Please add in the uh, experiences from Eduardo Salazar in there and the rest you can figure out. So already reading a little bit of the experiences and saying, hey, this one would fit in well within this content. Once I hit enter, it'll start with the confirming a couple of things and then ideally start with the Canvas feature. Why I prefer writing with a Canvas feature is because you have a lot more of a collaborative approach to writing with an AI. You can change it here and there. You don't have to place it into another tool. 
And I think it writes really well as long as you put in those files that I told you. So let's just read the first sentence to see if it sounds like AI. Let's cut to the chase. There's a growing buzz around uploading LLM text files to boost your chances of showing up in the AI overviews. If you ever catch yourself wondering whether it's a new, this new tactic is a shortcut to ranking in the AI search engines like GPT search, perplexity, Google AI overviews, you're not alone. Not too bad. I'll change a couple of things which I can do directly within the Canvas feature, right? This is why I love this thing. It's a lot more of a collaborative effect. As you can see, I'm writing it here. It's not a replacement of your writing, neither it should be. The main thing to keep in mind here is to add your experience, right? Okay, so then number two, how do we create this supporting content really quickly? There's a lot of tools to do this. One of my favorite ones, and you've probably heard me talk about this, is Machined AI. You don't have to use this tool. We just think it works really well. They've added a couple of new functionalities that tend to work fantastic. This tool, what it allows you to do is write the cluster of content all together in one click. It's highly researched and it's interlinking with each other, which is one of the main things that we're trying to do right away. When you create an account, you can try it out for free as well. I'll leave a link for this stuff below. You're going to go to create content. So let's say we wanted to add supporting content for that LLM text file thing, right? So you want to put in the topic. Here they give you the example of dog Labrador exercise, meaning I want to make content about the best exercises for Labrador dogs. But we're going to go to um, marketing, uh, SEO with AI, and then optimizing for LLMs. Audience is going to be small business owners trying to do their own SEO. And then I'm going to leave everything as it is. The engine I'm going to leave as uh, V3. So I'm going to leave it on autopilot. That's going to allow it to pick the keywords. You can also tell it which keywords you want to rank for. But for this instance, I'm just going to say that. And the region, I'm going to pick United States. Uh, if your region doesn't come up there, just choose globally. It's fine. And then you want to select in the audience feature where we wrote the small business owners. You want to place, for example, small business owners in the location that you're in. France, Chile, Brazil, wherever, right? Perfect. So now I've got a bunch of content that I can choose if I want to write or not. It hasn't written the content. I can now start choosing. And if I don't like something, for example, uh, let's say this one, right? I can delete it and you want to delete it now. There's a couple of other features that this thing does incredibly well. You can um, add in a custom brief, meaning in this blog post mention X, Y, and Z, that is where you're placing your experience about your topic. So whilst you're creating content at scale, you're still adding your two cents and still adding some value to the content. That is the main thing. Google doesn't care whether you write with AI or not. It cares whether the content is any good or not, right? There's an old saying, well, there's a saying that's starting to, to kind of make the rounds that all spammy content is AI, but not all AI content is spam. And I think that's a wonderful kind of way to think about this. That you can write with AI, it just can't be bad. The author uh, component is really good. That's where you add your tone of voice that you want. You can create your own tone of voices here, for example. I added mine, it's very easy to do. You can see what that tone of voice style guide is like. So all of this content is gonna be written in my tone of voice. Uh, I'm gonna do one here so you can see the output and you can see how we can change it. Um, I'm going to just write Got a lot more features, like you can choose the internal linking aspects of it and a lot more things. But for now, I just want to direct it uh, very quickly so you can see uh, one of the outputs. And I'm going to go opportunistic, uh, general, beautiful. I'm going to just write one so you can see the input. You can choose between GPT-01 to write it or GPT-41 mini, I think, I, I forget. But uh, let's just see, yeah, 01 or 40 mini. Both are really good at writing, particularly if you take the time to fill out all these things with machined AI. And you can see that in a matter of seconds, I can write all of this content that satellite or the supporting content. Now, is it ready to be published right away? Probably not. You wanna read it, you wanna add your two cents, you wanna edit it, and I'll show you how to do that from this platform. This also connects directly to your website so you can send it through as a draft. But the idea here is to get a tool that helps you create more content at once. Not worse content, just more of it with your experience. And this does a good job. Great. So it's written that content to a couple of minutes. I'm going to go to edit and I can see now uh, the image, the meta description and the content itself, which is really good. I can edit it right here. For example, this is an example. 
before I send it off to my website. Again, this isn't a replacement of your writing. This is just an extension, a tool to allow you to write more content at scale whilst maintaining the quality of the content. So if we go back to our strategy, we can now see that we've ticked off this one. We've done the middle one, our main pillar content, and then easily we've done all of these supporting content or satellite content. The last thing you wanna do is create the YouTube video. And the YouTube video ideally is about the main topic, right? So how to connect Claude in this instance to SEO data. If I look at the Google result, that was one of our blog posts here. So, you know, uh, this, Claude for this MCP connects is the future of SEO because it connects Claude to SEO data. When you're doing this, just making sure that when you're talking about it, you are placing a couple of the keywords there. And finally, in the main blog post that you want to ideally rank, so if I go back to the uh, blog that is being featured within GPT search for this and I look at it, it's all got the right keywords, but if I look all the way at the bottom, I'm also embedding that YouTube video at the bottom of that blog post. That way it's not getting in the way of the search intent, but that also helps it a little bit to stay on top. I'm not gonna do a video about how to do a YouTube video. I don't think I'm good enough still to teach that stuff. So I'll leave it there. There's plenty of other people. But again, what you need to do is make sure you can do this content pillar and satellite content strategy. I've given you the tools how to do that, but you want to go one step further and create the YouTube video for that. And to summarize why we want to do that is because Google, GPT, perplexity even sometimes, deems that the search intent for a certain question is better answered in a video instead of text or a blog post. Hence, in this case, they're all videos because it thinks, you know what, for this search term, people prefer a video. So you want to cover all bases and make sure you also do the video type of content for this. That's the way SEO is evolving or one of the many ways that SEO is evolving. And now that you know how to do this strategy that's going to help you rank in Google AI and GPT search. You wanna watch this video here that's gonna show you how to, in de that's gonna show you in detail how to write 20, 30, 40 blog posts with machined AI in your tone of voice with your experience because we only went through it very briefly. You should watch that to get that right.